but he just used his blink. If we catch him here, he might die. That's my poly shot. Ooh, set that into my ultimate. I think he blinked. Let's clean him early up. He should be slipping here. I can hear him in lane. Oh, nice. Poggers. What is up, beautiful people? It's Celadon here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Kokolkan in mid, accompanied here by Sam Wukong in jungle, against what looks like either Nox or Merlin. It's probably Merlin. Nox might be a support, should be a support. And judging by the looks of it, set it's in the jungle. We're putting down the tornado on the speed buff, pretty easy stuff. Trying to stack up minions here for our next tornado to caught all six of them. Easy stuff. Getting a little bit poked out. But he took more than we did, so it's fine. Oh, that was on point, but it didn't reach, unfortunately. Uh, looks like I don't have time to go for the jungle. We're gonna wait for our jungler and just stack up those minions. Put in the tornado, and now we can go for the red buff. This way, we guarantee that we don't miss a lot of XP. Looks like we're gonna miss the backline XP, which is extremely unfortunate. I'm not sure if Merlin does this on person uh, on purpose, but he actually made me lost the whole backline. Oh. We're just going for the wave here. We have no cooldowns and no reason to participate in that engagement. I'm on it. Looks like Merling's trying to back, but we can't... Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he dead? Minions? Oh, oh thank you, minions. Okay. This is highly unfortunate, but still not the worst thing that could have happened. We got a kill on the enemy jungle. Not an even trade, in my opinion. Uh, mid is having an easier time farming than jungle, so he's gonna throw an out a loop. And we are already back in the lane. Unfortunately, we did miss the experience off of the last wave. But it looks like we're pretty even. He's trying to poke me out. I'm trying to stay as far as I can. The ghost hitting my one is not optimal, but acceptable. It doesn't happen too often for me to be extremely unhappy about it. We got his blink, but unfortunately our clear is gonna suffer now. Trying to put my tornado in a way that will trigger all the minions. We're quite um here and we barely have any MP5, so quite a pickle. I might as well back. Samukong was not paying attention. Am I gonna kill him with this? No. That was extremely close. Let's drop an ult and see if we can. Nope. He either didn't go for those and get, go for the red buff or oh, was aware enough. It's kind of hard to react while you don't have boots. <laughs> yeah. So I try to be cheeky about it. We don't really need our ultimate just yet, so it's fine. Gonna drop this, pick up the red, and go for the next wave. Merlin is in a bad spot right now. He needs to back badly. And I'm gonna clear this very fast, but let's make sure that he's backing. Now we can clear. At this point, one tornado will clear enough. Uh, looks like nothing on the map. I might as well back myself and get the full boots. Merlin decided to go for full Book of Thoth. Apparently his farming was efficient enough so he could do that. But that means that Samukon can bully him in lane. Uh, he 
still had blink after this whole engagement with our jungler. That's unfortunate. So big is being toxic. Let's meet that. Trying to poke out didn't really work. He caught our tornado. That's a lot of poke. Looks <laughs> like he fat fingered his four and just blinked into me. That might cost him, but sets here, okay. Good jukes, man. Tried to zone him with a tornado, didn't really work. Dude, that guy Gonna lose a, a little bit of gold for that. Your middle tower is under attack. So yeah, pretty simple mid laner stuff. Uh, our junglers are very passive, so the game is quite boring. How are you guys doing? Having a good day? I'm having a great one. Been to the gym, got back from work, trying to record some videos. And I almost died. <laughs> Damn it. No what a man. What a player. Let's pick up the red here. I'm not gonna take a safe route since I see that he's not waiting behind the corner due to my warding. Gonna fall back here. Don't wanna risk it. Oh, he caught me. He caught me just by the edge of it. That was very careless of me. We're actually pretty behind right now, we're half K gold behind, two levels. Gonna ult this way because I want all of that gold. An enemy has been slain. Somehow we're getting extremely pushed out, so we're gonna focus on that from now on. Am I able to poke him up a little bit? No, looks like we don't. He's been aggressive, maybe even a little bit too aggressive. I deal no damage. At this point in the game, I should be doing a lot more than I do. Can we stop his back? No. Okay. Let's see if this red is up. Oh, he just backed with red being up. That's a big no-no, my man. Okay. Grabbing this for free. Seth's gonna chase, but I think we're safe. He's immune to slow, which is something that I keep forgetting all the time. I might be dead, but I might be okay. It really depends. We got a shell. We're free to go. RDO will be able to secure the man. That's interesting. Let's cut off the pathing and just back away. Enemy ultimate incoming. Help left lane. Cancel that. Oh, he blinked, and aggressively, he should be dead for that. Foggers. But looks like Sam Wukong didn't punish the Merlin that blinked into the lane. I guess he just likes the man enough to not punish him for that, that's fine. Support and jungle is still getting bullied in Foggers. lane. Oh, looks like Ardio is dead. Nox is such a frustrating character to play against. But the good part about it, she's not a very viable support in the late game. She's annoying at best and quite hard to handle in the early game, but in the late game, it okay. really shows Please. that she's not a support. An ally has been slain. Oh, he picked him up at an unfortunate timing. He just flew out of my okay. ultimate, but Nox decided to dash into that, which is nice. Your right tower has been destroyed. Mm, we didn't land that, but we still cleared the wave, which was my initial plan. I knew the timing was right. Your right tower is under attack. Retreat middle lane. Quiet, please. No one sneaks from me. Can we clear the wave Let's and go, stay baby. alive? 
Nox really tried, but she did not succeed. Okay, literally all of my teammates are trolls. Careful, middle. Gonna check up on our red, it should be up. Tornado over here, poke out the big minion with a one, it should be enough for the clear. But Sovokong decided to triple clear the wave, I guess. It should work for him. Never mind that I'm stacking. Ardio is killing herself again, which is very unfortunate, but still acceptable. I had to waste an ult to disengage. Big dick energy, which is gonna straight up back in front of the Nox. And it works out. This Hardio is really messing it up. Uh, I am no longer in control because uh, Merlin was ahead as is and she just keeps feeding and I cannot stop this. We should get the gold here. They're doing the fire. Let's enjoy this. Apologist with his results. Uh, apparently he got back on the purple. I got my ult to secure. It should be ours easily. And there you go. I could use some assistance. That evens out our gold a little bit. Because gold fury is better than the pyromancer that they took. But we're still behind. And some of our lanes are really behind. But looks like Apollo is struggling against Cupid, so we're gonna play off of that. I'm also catching up with the Merlin. Let's see if we can find some kills in here. I'm gonna get a bunch, I think. This set is dead. Let's focus on the Apollo. Okay, we got two return kills, and I think we're safe to get out of here. Oh, so the Merlin was coming around. Am I dead? Mm, unfortunate. I think Nox just stepped back into my tornadoes for the second time. How very generous of her. In hell. Looks like there's a big fight on right lane. Let's see if we can catch someone no slipping. They're taking our blue buff, which is guaranteed. Oh, Nox just dashed in. We should go for that. Yeah. For a support, she dies way too quickly, as you can see, just like I said. We're nearing the late game, it's over 3 items now on most of the gods, and she just takes way too much damage. Let's see if we can snipe an ult. No, Sambukong pulled them out of it, instead of staying inside. Merlin is taking a lot of damage here. He just burned his beads, and they w he was one tick away from death. Spear the Magus on Kokolkin, by the way, is a really nasty item. As you can see, every tick of my ability deals more and more damage. Uh, up to six times, which is exactly how many ticks you have in a tornado. Unless, well, they s decide to stand in it, and it will be just devastating. When I get enough penetration and actually go through the defenses, this item is gonna help me deal insane amount of damage. Since, well, Tornado is the main damage source of Kokokin. So it really feels like a core item to the Kokolkin now. Polynomicon actually gives out a lot of mana, so we're gonna pick this up. And with our one being maxed out, it slow, slows quite heavily, so it's easier to land this Polynomicon shot. 
And as you can see, my passive gives uh, 126 power, which is Kukulkin is all. Basically, we're doing the polynomic one build because, yeah, the 334 hit from my auto is quite insane. There's a lot of people in right lane, we should go for the Gold Fury, but looks like it warded and is not really soon to spawn, which is unfortunate. Let's poke him out a little bit. I missed the Polynomicon, but he just used his blink. If we catch him here, he might die. That's my Poly shot. Ooh, Seth got into my ultimate. I think he blinked. Let's clean the Merlin up. He should be slipping here. I can hear him in the lane. This should be the free gold fury. Oh, Kamazos is here. We really should fight. As you see, my Polynomicons are doing insane damage. I was expecting him to do the burst before. 200 damage even on a tanky target, Let's almost go, 300 baby. damage with my auto attack damage on the solo laner is quite insane, let's juke that. They're still around. An enemy has been slain. Wasn't able to slow him down, he's gonna ult here, so we're gonna keep him engaged. He wastes his ult. We need to catch him. And we got the ult. Sets on me. I knew he's walking there. Look at that damage. Holy shit. The man just got completely in here. And he had no way to get out. He was committing. And then I just did two thirds of his HP. With my one and my polynomicon. Merlin is in a tight spot here, but looks like my team is not present in mid, they're pushing left, so we're gonna disengage for a little bit. Secure our red here. Look at that damage, that's insane. We're now gonna go for penetration as soon as we drop this camp. We got a 2-2 left, we now have enough gold, we're gonna push out the mid and back for penetration. I'm thinking Obsidian Shard probably. And then we really gonna dish out some numbers. Actually, I opted for Rata to Hoodie because it's just it's just such an insane, ridiculous item. It's 160 power, gives me a lot of MP5, so my mana is not gonna run out today. And uh, yeah, as soon as they drop. To that uh, threshold, my tornadoes start to hurt. Oh, they're doing the Paramancer. I was not here soon enough, unfortunate. Might have tried to steal it. Oh, looks like their whole team is in right lane. Samukong is in deep trouble. Let's cut the pathing. He ulted back in. What a guy, what a player. He barely survives and then he ults back in. Apollo is looking for me, looks like. We're gonna cut the pathing behind us and try to ult. Mm, RDO. What a great stun. I might have held on to my ult. Maybe that was a mistake by me. Let's try to cut the pathing so if my team disengages, they cannot chase. That'll be preferable. They have a lot of melee characters, so I'm trying to put my tornadoes as a zoning, a zoning element more than anything else. An enemy has been slain. Merlin just stepped into my tornado, look at his health. Look at him just melting, that's 50% of his HP in just one of my tornadoes. If I lend this one more, he's dead. That's an ult. Oh, Kamazots, my man, you're in trouble. Unless I suck, but my Polynomicon shot is still on point, so it's fine. Our ult's back. Mm, she decided not to walk into that. Very unfortunate for me. I'm gonna Polynomicon shot the tower. 
It, do, it still deals a lot of damage even through backdoor protection. Let's pick up our red buff. Looks like this engagement is over. It was really sloppy and way too long. Parts of our team was coming and going. Look at that damage. Holy shit. It's over 600. We're now definitely going to go for pan. Let's back. We need that obsidian shard. Looks like Cupid is wasting his ult in Merlin. He got him. That's nice. We need to help him stay alive. Set had to work the other way. Let's try and deal some damage here. He should be dead. That was perfect. Apollo is looking for an ult on me yet again. He realized that he need to disengage hard. Kamazots is busy. Oh, that tornado didn't last on. Very unfortunate. He heals a lot. Maybe we should think of a divine rune. But he built a lot of tankiness, so he's not really a threat to anyone. We always kill him in the end. Oh, he dropped him back into my tornado. That's nasty. This guy is slow. Look at that. This is a support. This is how fast the support dies. Maybe I don't even need that obsidian shard. I could be watching anime right now. This is what I was talking about. Nox just... It's not a thing, guys. Come on, it's annoying. But it's not a thing. Like, she's not a support. Let's focus on the objective. Uh, Set's coming back. We probably should have gone for Titan here. But looks like my team is hard disengaging. We're not gonna make it confusing for everybody. But I'm pretty confident that we could have finished the game here. Let's just go for the fire. I have my ult to secure, so I'm going to waste his ult for some reason. Completely unnecessary to be honest, but it's fine. I'm not going to play around and I'm going to straight up ult. I don't want them to steal for no reason, like Apollo might have an ult and do some crazy shit. Let's back for that obsidian shard at last. Doing pretty well, we're a part of uh, 15 kills out of 30. That's exactly a half of the kills, so pretty nice participation out of me. We're dropping this gold fury, and I would prefer uh, for the whole team to go to the left. I'm not sure how well they understand what should be happening right now. Retreat left lane. Attack left lane. Looks like Cupid is backing, so let's take the long route through the minions and everything. Allow him to catch up. My team is everywhere. My jungler is going nuts. Solo laners in mid lane for no reason. We should be using that fire giant right now and just taking the left phoenix. Alright, it's me and Ardeo. We're definitely gonna take that phoenix, no props. Alo decided to f start the fight by losing his dash. That was not the best ultimates that I have. We had an Aegis to eat most of that damage from the set, but unfortunately I wasn't able to Let's land my go, own here. Sobek is going in, we should back that up. Jeffrey, I'm Apollo is down. Double kill. Let's focus on the objective, Kamazos is looking at me, but he immediately decides to ult out. How very kind of him. Considering I had no actives and he probably might have killed me. This should be game. Oh my yeah, god, look at that playing. damage. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. Let's put some BM on that pie. So I'm pretty sure the Merlin was taunting the whole game. Okay then, quick analysis of the game. Uh, we're going for Spear and Magus, extremely insane item on the Kokolkan and gives just so much damage on your three. Obsidian Shard for actual penetration late game. We have Ratatouille that after a certain threshold of the enemy HP just does even more damage. Polynomicon because it's Kokolkan and it's very effective on him with his one. Uh, Book of Thought is a old core item for Kokolkan. You should build that no matter what. And Merlin 
doesn't really have a consistent build. He has 30% CDR. Spear Magus is a good pickup. Boko Thoth, but his sustain is lacking and uh, overall he's lacking in the penetration. He has 30 flat, but that's, in my opinion, is definitely not enough. In terms of damage, we out damage the Merlin by 4k, which is not very significant, but our skill participation is way higher than his. Our supports are pretty even in damage. Our jungler is actually 7k above the set, which is surprising to me. And our solo laner is losing almost twice the damage, but our ADC is four times the damage of the enemy Apollo, which is honestly quite insane. And yes, that'll be the Kukulkan game of uh, mid in Conquest for you guys. T absolutely top tier right now. One of the most prevalent, probably the best mid right now in Season 7. Because there's just too much stuff in the jungle. And lane pressure is way too important. And his ability to passively clear while he's not even there, if you put your tornadoes right, is just way too effective in the current meta. Easily S tier mid laner right now. If you want to be in ranked and want to be effective, play him. If you want to stump some casuals, play him. And just, yeah, learn the meta. He is OP right now. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. And as always, have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.